what the travel man ban means is that uh, even multinationals that are based in Nairobi, even the international schools cannot send their kids to Mombasa. Tourism sector players are calling on the government to hasten in reversing the travel ban issued by the major markets in bid to recover the losses occurring owing to the ban. Heritage Hotel's Chief Executive Officer Mohamed Hersey says even with the intervention from the government and local players coming together, the situation still needs the markets to lift the ban. So the bottom line is that uh, that has to be lifted and I think it is uh, very close happening because uh, the British government, the US government have partnered with our government strongly to deal with the, with the terror aspect so that uh, there are no more attacks. He says the players in the coast, which has been adversely affected, are working at only 30% bed capacity from the normal 60%. He says even as the domestic market has been growing, we cannot do away with the international market. But you need to balance both because we still need the international tourists. Remember, we need that forex to come in. We need that pound. We need the dollar. Uh, for us to buy our oil and all these other consumables that we need to import, uh, uh, you need the foreign currency coming in. So anybody telling us that uh, we can do away with the international tourists, uh, they actually don't know what they're saying. And uh, I think that is a myth that I need to say that it's not going to work. He has also commended the government for enhancing security in the coastal region, bringing down insecurity in the region. You see, security is just not for tourists. Sec security is also for us. Uh, that's what many people don't realize, that uh, uh, security has to be beefed up. You know, we have to invest more in our police, and that is now happening. You know, the government has come out very strongly in that area. Then the partner countries, you know, the U.S., the U.K., apart from just uh, the advisories and they're getting hard on us sometimes, they're also investing. I'm Angela Wamboy for Capital TV.